YouTuber News, where I keep YouTube content creators like you up to date with everything that's happening on YouTube that impacts you as a content creator. I've got some really exciting updates for you today. We're talking about growth opportunities for all content creators who choose to take advantage of it, a YouTube glitch that you should know about, another awesome shorts update, and more YouTube news starting right now with the bug that um, just recently happened. So I do wanna let you know about this. So um, between the August 23rd and 25th, if you go into your analytics right now, you're gonna see it glitch. Don't worry, it's not just your channel. Nothing's wrong, nothing horrible is happening or anything like that. Um, it's just a glitch that's happening and it's something that they're working on. So I just wanted to keep you up to date with that. Next, we have a new monetization um, tab that is showing up on mobile devices. Um, basically for you smaller or newer content creators that are trying to get into the YouTube partner program, this shows you how far you are. They give you a little meter um, that you can see right up here on the screen. They give you this little meter to let you know how many subscribers you have, how many um, watch time hours that you have in order to meet those requirements. So that's kind of interesting. If you are a content creator that already has an established channel that's in the partner program, um, then they are giving us this teaser as well where they're saying that uh, where they're saying that they're going to be teasing some things like adjusting for ads and things like that if you're already in the partner program in addition to that another huge shorts update um, we're going to be getting to the growth stuff here in a minute for those of you that are interested in that information just so you know in case you happen to just be joining us but the shorts update um, starting today you are going to be able to instantly and this just dropped like 14 hours ago um, starting today you're going to be able to instantly create shorts from your clips on your mobile device. Um, if you're not familiar with clips, the clips, or if you have clips disabled on your channel, so make sure that you always have this enabled, by the way, um, on your own channel, but they are five to 60 second looping segments that viewers create from your channel. So basically YouTube is encouraging us to use these as YouTube shorts because they are pieces of content that were impactful to people that have clipped them out. Now, keep in mind, Excuse me there. Keep in mind, you can only use the clips on your own channel. As of right now, you cannot use other people's clips for shorts. But in order to test this out, if you are wanting to test this on your own channel, what you do um, is you can go and create a clip of a video or live stream that you've previously uploaded that belongs to your channel. Click on the create short icon visible in the header of the clip panel, and you can you know rewind this part if you need to. Um, the then the content of the clip is now imported into the shorts creation experience and then optionally you know make more edits to it you know that kind of thing adding filters and all of that and then name and publish the new short so basically what you can do just as that experiment to see how it works on your own channel but anytime you notice that someone else is clipping your content then you know that that's been impactful to someone in your community and you can make a quick short out of that so essentially the community is going to help you be able to come up with content ideas for your youtube shorts which is pretty awesome but as of right now um you you can only import your clips into YouTube Shorts, just as that reminder. Um, others can cannot make shorts from your clips either, but they can remix your short into a clip, which brings me to our next huge topic of the day. So you may or may not have noticed that um, when you go into the video descriptions of pretty popular videos right now, um, one of the things on your mobile device, one of the things that you are going to see is that you are going to see something that looks like this um, down at the very bottom of the video description where it shows a remix of, or where it's basically showing the shorts that have been remixed from that particular content. So the idea here, is that any of the songs that somebody has um, that any you know body has used? So, for example, this screenshot right here I got from a DJ uh, DJ Kalib uh, 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 video. And in this particular um, situation right here, there's a ton of people that have made clips because it's a music, you know, it's, it's a music thing. But if anybody, um, you know, is making any type of content and you're like, hey, you know, this new music just dropped, um, this new artist that I love and that other people love a lot that's really popular, they just dropped this and this particular song would be great for a particular short that I'm using, then in that case, if you're one of the first people in there and people respond well to your short, again, you gotta make sure you're making good content here. That's always the rule. Never forget that but as long as people are responding well to your short then you are going to have it show 
up here um, is one of the options that people can watch. And I'm assuming, I don't know this for sure, so I got to make that disclaimer. I'm assuming that just like everything else on YouTube, the priority or the stuff that's going to be front and center is going to end up being the stuff that people are responding to the most in terms of having the best experience with or enjoying. So because of that, don't just try to rush through it to get it done. Instead, make sure that you are putting in that extra effort to just make a really good short for that particular song that you're trying to tap into. Now, this same exact thing applies when you are, um, you know, remixing videos from larger channels as well. So, you know, anything that you're remixing, this is going to give you the opportunity to slide up um, underneath their video descriptions. Now, for those of you that have been on YouTube for a while, you might start thinking like I did immediately when my brother D shared this feature with me. And that is, and you can even see it in the screenshot here already, um, is that if you've been on YouTube for, you know, for a long time, if you've been around for a while, um, you probably remember the comment girls from back in the day where basically they, ha they had video replies where you could just do video replies on YouTube, kind of like TikTok does now. And with the video replies, basically they called, com they were called comment girls, but they would go in there and they would essentially spam, you know, all the comment section with all their videos and stuff. And they'd be dressing all crazy or whatever, but you know, this is probably going to happen here as well. So you might want to go ahead and take care of this now or not take care of it, but take advantage of this now um, before it gets out of control. If it does, I'm just throwing, you know, my hat in the ring, so to speak, in terms of how I think this is going to end up being used. Um, but as of right now, it's a great opportunity for content creators. Now, here's the thing with this. Um, my brother D actually just put a video together um, about this, showing you more details and explaining it deeper what it is um, and showing you exactly how to use it and how to fully take advantage of this. Um, so as soon as that video is complete, I'm going to link it in the description of this stream right now. And I'm actually going to check to see if it's complete. Um, okay. Yeah. So he's, he's still putting it together, but it'll be linked in the description of this stream right now. And I will put it as a card at the top of the screen and I'll link it at the end of this uh, stream as well. Um, once everything, uh, once everything processes. Now, in addition to that, um, as a quick tools update, I do want to let you know if you are a TubeBuddy user, they have just updated their flyout panel. Um, you can see the demo right here. So if you're a TubeBuddy user, you're in there, you know, messing with your videos, you're going to see this little tab over in the sidebar um, that's going to, you know, give you the option to click on it and it pops out. And the really cool thing with this update is they are sharing educational information in there. They're showing some um, information on things that you can do to improve and that sort of thing. So this is a really awesome feature and I'm just happy, you know, or excited, I should say, to share this with you. So if you're a TubeBuddy user, um, you'll see this in there already because they're trying to help you, you know, get results here on YouTube. If you're not a TubeBuddy user, I've got a link to them down in the description below where you can try them out for free. And as a content creator, um, you know, you should be using uh, TubeBuddy. So the next thing I want to mention is that um, as you know, for those of you that watch this segment on a regular basis or watch my content on a regular basis, VidSummit's only 25 days away. Um, I do want to let you know there's a link down in the description for those of you that want to go, but you can't go because maybe the tickets are too expensive or something like that. Um, Spreadshop, spreadshop.com, they're doing a giveaway to where you can, you know, enter for a chance to win um, free tickets to Vid Summit. So I've got links to that down in the description. So if you are wanting to go, but it's just a little bit tight on the budget, um, then you, you know, can throw your hat in the ring on your chances of winning um, a Vid Summit ticket, um, a Vid Summit ticket there. So again, um, I'm going to link to my brother's video right here is where that will end up be. So you can go ahead and click on that once it's available. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out. I'll be live streaming tomorrow at 9 a.m. Eastern, and uh, that's the news.